No one's in this car. And yet there is a blanket. You think what I'm thinking, Vivian? There's nothing here. But if we were to hide, perhaps... What? Did it, what? There's a there's a ghost. Boo! So you've found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed on this place. A blanket? <laughs> well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What, you just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts. I see. That is your choice. But then I can't tell you where the blanket is. Okay, fine. Oh, so you help me then. Fine. All I need is... Your life! Um... Ah, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cavern many years ago. Yeah, I didn't expect Paper Mario to actually have a murder investigation. <laughs> um, but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Oh, okay, it's not a murder investigation. Good, good, good. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my early childhood days. Or is it a murder investigation? And my fear is that someone would find and read it and has kept me tied to this world. It's not a murder investigation. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Is it not just this? Okay. Um, sure thing, ghost. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do... <laughs> A horrible fate awaits you. Well, that's ominous. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just go tell the conductor that, as it turns out, he gave a blanket to a ghost. Hmm. Alrighty, oh, sir, give me access. Did you find a blanket? Why the ghost? Yeah. And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, come on in. You don't say no to ghosts. I love... That is... I love that phrase more than I should. You don't say no to ghosts. Oh, there's just something to it. Alright, Vivian. Let's find this. Okay, we got a chest back there. But how do we get back there? Oh, maybe... We, maybe it looks a little something like this. A little something like... Okay, um... Maybe, okay, you do this. Diary of the Ghost Kept, you shouldn't read it. But like, what if I want to though? Like, it sounds interesting. Anywhere else to go in here? And obviously there's like that up top zone, but, hmm. Oh, I guess that's about it. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Now, I cannot believe my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. I would like to see what's written in it. 
kind of want to read it, too. Well, how is getting the diary back to the ghost going to help him if he can't actually interact with physical objects? I can only imagine that Vivian felt extremely awkward when you said you don't help ghosts. Is Vivian technically a ghost? Like, I thought she was like some sort of, like, almost like shadow elemental or something. I mean, it could be wrong. I don't know. Paper Mario Lore Masters. Well, what is Vivian? The people deserve answers. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? Sure thing. It's kind of unclear. Well, yeah, that's why I'm asking. If you want to read it, wait, I could have read it. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. It was on the bed the whole time. I, I could have seen it. I saw it. I made note of it. You are very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it. You might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Whoa. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> uh, okay, um. Yeah, don't ascend to heaven or whatever then. Weird ghost. Weird ghost. Shadow Elemental is pretty accurate. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to have read the diary, now that I know that apparently I could have. Oh, I guess I can, like, look up what happens on YouTube or something. Sir, your blankets. So, Mr. Murray, how did you, uh, deal with the blankets? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Oh, a super mushroom, thanks. Um, I guess I'll, uh... I'll eat the coconuts. Actually, out Vivian, you can eat the coconuts. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night? You're in cabin five, in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express! Cool. I see, so it was not, in fact, our yummy, sticky suspect, just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Of course, penguin. That horrible fate is the creepiest bad ending of all time. Oh, now he's closed. Dang. I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Oh, uh, traitorous tongue. I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. Wait, what did he say? Oh, perp work. <laughs> uh, perp work. <laughs> uh. Kitchen is closed. Oh. 
Can't have a midnight snack. That horrible fate is the creepiest bad ending of all time. Well, that's a claim. Sounds scary. <sighs> I think we should get some rest. Yes, let's. Excess Express Day 2! Alright, Vivian, let us greet the world at large. Maybe have a nice hearty breakfast after we save, of course. Oh, I got mail. RDM issue 5. A rogue port today, a local mystic Merluvili was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Merluvili suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight mushroom steaks. The divine diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Sharp reporter go, this time let's head to Keel Hall Galleria. We are proud to toast the entrepreneur We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor and former fight fan. Call me the invincible shopmaster from now on. I'm one hundred percent serious. P print that. We wish him all the success that he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for Rookies Listen up, rookies, because here is another intermediate-level recipe. Today's dish is the single-serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir, and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. Editor's notes, thank you for reading the best drag in the land. See you next time. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. You gotta eat, read the morning paper with breakfast, of course. Good morning. So, any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Not yet. We're, we're still keeping an eye out. You should check out what happens if you open the diary later. But, have you seen what happens if you fail to get enough parts in Pikmin? That's creepy. I've never played a, pl a Pikmin game. Maybe we could read the diary now. Like, it's just in the drawer, isn't it? It won't open for some reason. Oh wow. Never mind. That horrible fate is. <laughs> yeah. Morning, Chef! Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it? Friend of mine, yes, a delicious day. I make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Ho 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 ho. Where are we going? Good question. I don't know. We can talk to the detective conductor. Detective, any leads? What have we here? Ah, oh, my dearest Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Oh, okay, uh, here's the deal. But when I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job, at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. Next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. Whoa. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell, 
And a bit of gold. Wait, wait, wait. Seashell. Gold. Hmm. Well then, those alts are explosive. Oh no. Resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday, hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Pennington, you've done it again. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in the cabin, too? They've both lost something on this train. The waitress lost its shell earrings. And the lady, Toodles, lost the gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat on the notes. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must have ran the suspect before this dastard plan is put into effect. Agreed, agreed. Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Then no more expensing your vacations. Okay, let's look for clues in the businessman's cabin. Okay, there are no clues in the businessman's cabin. Let's uh, inform the conductor as to the terroristic plot unfolding on his very train. It's all coming together. That's right. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today around dusk, I believe. Okay, we got to solve this before dusk then. Before the criminal has the opportunity to escape with the briefcase. Hmm. Morning, Chef. Hello. Yeah, okay. Mind if I uh, check your uh, pot here? Okay. Check that. Mind if I check your spice cabinet? Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing unusual. Hello, ma'am. Do you see that zip toad came to the last night's dinner? I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Yeah, they could do some like touch-ups and stuff. Ghost friends, do you know anything? Hello, good morning. Isn't the weather nice today? Days like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Cause you have to do this to advance. And like that seems like something that could really stump people if they don't if their mind doesn't go in that direction immediately. Hey sir, you you see any stolen objects? Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad chowdery nightmare. I think that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Hey, being friends with the cook is a, it's a good place to be, for sure. Hello, ma'am. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man. You heard a delightful dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't go dress for it now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Hopefully. Oh, what's this? You got a vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. Q. 
curious. Could it be part of a contract, perhaps? Hmm. In Zipto's room, nonetheless. Interesting. Morning, engineer, sir. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? Well, we're making a stop at Riverside Station today. He'll love it, I assure you. I thought this was an express train. Doesn't the express mean no stops until we get to our final destination? You're asking me hard to figure out what to do there, but Hefty does give you a bit of a hint by stating that he heard some noises in the adjacent room. Okay, well, let's go uh, show these papers to the detective. And the businessman, of course. Gentlemen, that's good. Detective, have you stumbled upon any new clues? We got some vital papers. What is this paper? Hmm? What sort of clue is that supposed to be? Well, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Captain Money say yes, Zip Toad's room. Place I've long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Alright, Zip Toad. Where are you? You hiding here? Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you all. Top of the morning, Joe Gonzalez. I'm afraid you, what you saw at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. It's fine, it's fine. I understand. Heat of the moment and all that. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one's suspicions during the night. Okay, hmm. Where might Zip Toad be hiding? You've been around most of the rooms. If anyone would know about the whereabouts of Zip Toad, it's the waitress for sure. You see that Zip Toad came to last night's dinner? I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Hmm. You don't mind me jumping on the tables, all right, do you? Hmm. Maybe he's in my own cabin. Oh, what's this? Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Hmm. But where? Vivian, if we hide, perhaps he'll reveal himself. Aha! Oh, where do you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, ooch. So this is our man all along, pretending to be zip-toed, I see. 
Uh, that's why she was saying he's cuter on TV. Because he's not even the real Zip Toad. He's a fake, a fraud. This is only the second time that's happened within like seven days to me. Weird that it happened twice in such quick succession. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. And yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew how long you were fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station 2. I would have gotten away with the two if it weren't for you meddling penguin and mustache guy and also weird shadow elemental. I guess maybe that Goomba girl too, perhaps. And she 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 had my number from the start, I guess. And the waitress. And also this business rat. Re really the whole train kinda screwed this up for me. Oh well. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And uh, the good people of this train are now safe. For well, indubitably no one escapes from this improbably large brain. And, well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Ah. You got a briefcase. And a gold ring. And shell earrings. Oh, my precious briefcase is the Nitro Honey Syrup safe. Let's see. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Oh, it's a nice little town. Okay, it's what, like, four or five o'clock? Hey, I think, uh, not slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. Beldum? What? The whole zip thing was just a means to an end. It's me, Sucker's Dupless! Beldum's plan to gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, Suckers. Well then. Um. Want to get outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. Yeah, let's go, Vivian. Surely nothing bad could ever happen. A lot of the later bosses, especially, have a really good personality-wise. I definitely agree with that. Cortez Duplis. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Hey, bub. It's so super cool looking, I want to drive it right now. So little bub here really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? Oh, hey, what's up, conductor? Oh no, what will we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. Indeed. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats going to the station. Actually, come to think of it, 
Is that a shadow elemental that's uh, tacking along with you? That kind of looks like her. Must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. That switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a pastor to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario doll, uh, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Nah, sorry. I'm on vacation, man. Get, get one of your actual employees to do it. Oh, well... Now what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out. Your train, your business. Hey, kid, I need something from the old Battlemaster. No. Gotcha. Give me some time to figure out a few new secrets and come back whenever. Uh, I've been cooped up in that breathing stale out for too long. I want to go out and take a walk so I could bring build up an appetite for dinner. Fair enough. He's so sad. Video down to the control room? No. Oh, well, how are we gonna do? Okay, fine. Really? That'd be super. No time to get started like the present, so uh, here's the station's entrance key. Alright. Oh, thank you so much. Give me some... Oh, we're already full, alright. I guess this is where we get combat, probably? I might... Well, that's scary for a second. What's this? You think I just have dice lying around? I mean, I do. Okay, well, I'll uh, finish this dialogue and then I guess I'll go get a die. Ah, oh, my dearest Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad. It was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exact as I suspected. <laughs> sure it was. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. It was a rather a slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all that Beldum business. There's something here. There's nothing here, never mind. This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when ple pleasure boats cruised the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and that turned and turned to pasture. Interesting. Alright, well, let me go see if I can find a die. I'll be back. Got it. Okay, anyways, uh, we don't actually have a battle yet, so... Let's get in here.